There's a new graphic design trend that is the absolute worst, but also the best. And not surprisingly, you can blame young people for the popularity of this trend. What is this design trend, you might be wondering? And how can it be so amazing, yet simultaneously terrible? And by the end of this video, you'll have your answer. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Tools, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you're gonna get a dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift in 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills, joined as always by the boss man, Brady Shearer. For the last couple of decades, Alex, the design world has taken its inspiration from the tech giants mm -hmm. like Apple and Google, who have such monopolies on the UI and UX of the world. Yeah. And what's happened is every other design world person in the UI, UX world, blah, 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 if Apple's doing it this way, we should probably do it this way right. too. And that has given us so much good orderly and uniform design over yeah. the last couple of decades. We got flat design from this the trend of beautiful, smooth, and elegant sans serif fonts. Mm -hmm. And what's interesting now is we're seeing a new design trend that's been out for a little while, and I wanna talk about a specific offshoot of that design trend. And again, like most things in life, you can blame Gen Z. You can blame <laughs> young people yeah. who are rebelling their fault. against the order and uniformity of the design world, and this design trend is brutalism. There was nothing wrong with minimalism, and what have you done with brutalism? <laughs> so, <laughs> brutalism, if the UI UX design of Apple and Google could be defined as, you know, bourgeois, and pretentious, uh, pretentious <laughs> uniform, okay. orderly. Brutalism takes all of that and says, how much can we screw <laughs> this up for the purposes of shoving it in the face of the people that are older What's than the us? the biggest, boldest, and ugliest font that I can slap on top of this to get somebody's attention? Examples of this design trend is the iconic Kanye album cover for Life of Pablo. Even Hillsong United, their most recent release on Spotify is their little mini EP, for Not Today mm -hmm. and that album cover, also Brutalism web design. If you're listening, if you're thinking, okay, how, about, how could you define web brutalism? Here's something I found. In its ruggedness and lack of concern to look comfortable <laughs> or easy, brutalism can be seen as a reaction by a younger generation to the lightness, optimism, and frivility of today's web design. <laughs> I love I love that definition because as someone who loves flat design, minimalistic design, the, you're the, old, dude. The opening line there, it's like it's just a lack of concern. It's like that's what it's used to be. This is just a lack of concern for any design rules or regulations. Just blow it all up, and there you go. I mean, this is Gen Z, right? It's yeah. like lack of concern. <laughs> Lightness or optimism? No. Nope. Screw it. We hate that. <laughs> Give us mumble rap and sadness. That's yes. all that we want. Yeah. Another definition I saw of brutalism said simply, ugly is the new black. <laughs> so the design trend that I want to talk about in this episode, it's not necessarily brutalism, but an offshoot of brutalism. Okay. What I'm calling, because Brandon aptly termed it, web brutalism. Of course. If you're looking for an example of this, look no further than the social media influencer, colossal giant himself, Gary Vaynerchuk. Mm -hmm. If you go to Gary's Instagram feed, what will you see? A complete lack of order. It's all, he's concerned with nothing. <laughs> he will take black impact font and slap it on a white border yeah. and it's all sideways and it's upside down. And the whole point is what? To grab your attention. Yep. If uniformity and just nice grids, thing, things looking the way that they should, we're, we're starting to get a little bit you know, immune to that because we see it everywhere. Yep. What's gonna get someone's attention? A complete disregard <laughs> for anything that should be done the way that it's meant to be done. Yeah. And this is happening in the church world too. Just the other day, Elevation decides to post an Instagram and Facebook post that simply says, hey, come to church tomorrow. And what font did they use, Alex? <laughs> Comic Sans. Because why not? There are no rules yes. and Gen Z does not care it's about a, anything. The second worst font of all time and it got all of our attention. Exactly, <laughs> and I spoke with the designers and they were like, just wait until what we do next. And I said, no! <laughs> you turned brutalism out of here. Uh, they uh, they also did a sermon series Elevation did called Triggered. Yeah, I actually, I actually love this one. <laughs> I love all of them. Yeah. They took like this Windows 95 look and they combined it with this rainbow glitch, mm -hmm. abstraction sort of thing. And if you're wondering, who's the next culprit? You can look no further than me because I fully embrace this trend. Yeah. I recognize it as the worst, but I love it way too much. And when it came to the first couple of months of our new social media program that we launched for churches, I met with my designer and I said, 
I know that we could take nice story tape footage and add a nice <laughs> overlay and put some nice fonts, but what if you designed me from scratch web, like Windows 95, Microsoft Word grossness, and then we like glitched the heck out of it. And he's like, I don't know how I'm going to do that. And I was like, you got it. And I, and I walked away. So a couple of examples that we've done. This first one, uh, this is a Microsoft Word UI interface with the Lord's Prayer that's mm-hmm. being typed into it. Um, we also did a video post for social where we took the... The, the, the story of the woman at the well and Jesus, you know, confronting her and saying, where are your accusers? Go sin no more. And, and we told the story through little like iMessage notifications yeah. because why not? Uh, another example, these are just uh, Photoshop files. We haven't actually animated these yet. If you're listening, you should definitely be watching. This is an episode about graphic design. Yeah. It's kind of hard to dictate it. This one's my favorite. So we took <laughs> the old Gmail interface and we took a passage from Corinthians and we had the message subject as like Second Corinthians twelve five or whatever yeah. the, the the verse was, and then we had the from name as the Apostle Paul, <laughs> yes. and then in the actual body yeah. we wrote the, the epistle to the Corinthians, right. because again nothing matters. Yeah. And and if you're watching, you should look at that graphic very closely. And if you find the Easter egg, comment below. Comment below. Another example, this is Microsoft Word. Again, uh, we took, you know, another passage of scripture and just put it in Microsoft Word. Yeah. I want you to pay special attention to the root. Um, where this file is saved <laughs> yes. is especially fun in this, in this, in this in this composition. Again, just taking UI that's existing, messing it up, breaking every rule for the purpose of attention. And, and I know we're being very lighthearted with this episode, but Really, at the core of this idea is the intersection between attention yes, and artistry. Of course. We did an episode on this. How far are you willing to go? How much of your idealized artistry and creativity are you willing to sacrifice mm-hmm. for the purpose of gaining the attention of your audience? Gary Vee does not care if anything looks good as long as you're listening to his message. Yeah. Elevation and their designers are willing to use Comic Sans, a godforsaken <laughs> font that belongs in the pit of hell, and use it to attract people to their church. And you know what I say? Hey, anything short of sin? I don't know if Comic Sans is sin. That's still up for debate, I would say. Yes. But hey, I'm willing to push the limits here. So designers, whatever you're working on this week, have a look at it with fresh eyes, with a little less concern, if you will. And less optimism, really. Yeah, take some terrible fonts, take some really offside graphics, slap them on top of whatever you're working on, and post it. Like all design trends, this one will die. Probably sooner Soon. than others. <laughs> so milk God. it for everything it's got. I know we will. That'll do it for this episode of Pro Church Tools. We'll see you next time. Hey, hey. thanks for watching this video. The next step for you is to subscribe. And then your next step with your right foot would be to like the video. Like and subscribe.